Good arising, brethren. This is Big Judah coming to you guys from California. Before I begin, give all praise to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother. Who was wisdom? Who was the Holy Spirit? Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. I pray that the Most High blesses this lesson this evening. Gives more knowledge and understanding of the events of the past. In order to understand the events that are currently happening on the earth. So we get a much better understanding of the things that are soon to come on the earth. Brethren, we're going to talk a little bit about myths, fables, legends, and fairy tales. This short little video uh, popped up after i kind of been thinking about that. Once I've been putting things in my head, I wanted to bring you guys a little bit of information. What we have to understand is the other nations have no history. They have nothing to hand down to their generations. So they pretty much have to take our information, take it as theirs, and pass it down to their children as if it's theirs, as if it's their history. Now we know, you know, they'll, they'll go a lot with British fables, Irish fables, Scottish fables. But we understand now that that was talking about our people. We know from the annals of the four masters that they took our information, anglicized it, rewrote it, and claimed it for themselves. So many of the great stories of the past, they've romanticized for themselves. Just like in the movie King Arthur, when they admit that the movie was about a person who existed in the distant past that had nothing to do with them. What did they do? They went ahead and changed all the people, made everybody white, took the story on for themselves, and um, <clears throat> passed it down from generation to generation as if it was their story. The Knights of the Round Table, all of that was all taken for themselves. Now, we know that there was otherworldly things going on before the Gentiles were released on our lands to take over our lands. So they would take a lot of that information and make them like a mythology. So they could go ahead and try to pass it down and try to make it seem as if it was their own information. I like think think about the Greeks and how, you know, the Greeks had a lot of this information. We knew this stuff last, had been around way before the so-called Greeks that they're referring to. So I want to watch a little bit of this video, which kind of breaks down each thing. Each thing, each kind of genre right there. Okay? And just think, you know, about all of the stories with the, uh, the giants fighting fallen angels, fighting Nephilim. Those are all things that are happening, but they don't really want to ignore, they don't really want to admit to that because they, you know, if they were here, they were on the wrong side of history. If their ancestors were around, they were with the priest of Mahan. They were with the, uh, the adversary. They don't want people to know that. They want them to think that they're the good guys. So that's why everything has been, you know, so jumbled up and thrown up all over the place. All the truth has just been uh, made into lies and the lies into the truth. So let's check out a little bit of this video real fast. But we know that all these stories that they're referring to are our stories. Because we haven't found any evidence that they had any of this information or that they had any of these stories. But we do have proof of them taking our stories and rewriting them and making it seem as if it's theirs. Hey guys. 
Welcome to this Mometrix video on myths, fables, legends, and fairy tales. A lot of you have probably grown up with your parents reading books or watching movies with you. Well, chances are most of what they read to you was a myth, fable, legend, or a fairy tale. Let's look at what makes something a myth, fable, legend, or a fairy tale. A myth is a story that was made up by people who wanted to explain how or why our world works, how it came to be, how we should treat others, why hurricanes happen, and so on. Myths are sort of like our ancient ancestors' versions of science. Myths explain how natural events occurred and are set in really ancient times, before history even began. These myths are generally passed on from parents to kids, and when those kids grow up to be parents, they would also tell their kids, and so on. Now that would be our people right there, passing down information, word of mouth, again and again. Keeping that information, you know, intact. Now, what did the, the enemy do when they got here? They switched, they got the men away from the, uh, from the women and the children, killed m many of the men, he definitely killed the old people. Why is that? Because they're the ones that had a lot of these myths and these stories in their minds and they could pass them down to, from generation to generation. They, didn't, they wanted us to forget, to forget all of our history. So they got rid of the old people first. Because they're the ones who are that fountain of knowledge that our uh, people, or our children, would be looking forward to in order to be getting knowledge and understanding of the past. But see, like how they're like, well, this is what our ancient ancestors used to do. See, I know it wasn't your ancient ancestors that did this. They stole our information and then passed these stories down as if it was theirs. But this is not what, you know, your people were doing from jump. This is what the Hebrews were doing when they're getting information from Enoch. And they're just passing it down again and again. It's getting it from Adam, passing it down to their children as well. That's how this has been going on. But they want to, you know, stand in as if it was them that was doing these kinds of things. Let's continue. The word myth actually comes from the Greek word mythos, meaning word of mouth. Myth you love how they're trying to act like, like the Greeks came up with the myth, mythos, word of mouth. You know, they always got to try to make it seem like it was the Greeks that did absolutely everything. They were the first ones. Who had, a, who had all this information before the Greeks? They're never going to get into that. The Greeks haven't been around that long. Myths were shared by groups of people all throughout the world and became a really big part of their community. Greek mythology is one of the most popular examples of this. Their myths generally centered around various gods and goddesses. Sometimes days were even set apart to have big celebrations because of these myths. Legends are stories that people made up as well. However, legends are about real life people and what they did. Legends always have an important purpose, but the facts are a little exaggerated to make them more interesting and exciting. Generally, some of the facts are dramatically altered and the person the legend is about never really did what the story says. Now, a fable is also a story that is passed down. A fable's overall purpose is to teach a lesson. However, all the characters in a fable are things that can't normally talk. A fable is about animals, plants, or forces of nature that can talk and act like humans. Fairy tales are probably one of the most popular today. Fairy tales are specifically for kids and often have a lot to do with magic, like a fairy godmother, elves, or any supernatural character. Animals can also be characters in a fairy tale. Fairy tales always have good characters and evil characters. A lot of times, fairy tales begin by saying, once upon a time. So, let's do a quick review. Myths are stories that are passed down about how or why something came to be. Legends are designed to teach a lesson about a real person in history with a few facts dramatically changed. Fables are stories that are passed down with a good lesson to be learned and are about animals, plants, or forces of nature that are human-like. And, you know, animals, plants, things that are, you know, nature's human-like. Um, there are plenty of stories about, you know, animals talking in the Bible. Also in other books like Jasher. You know, I said, so you got to think there's a whole lot of other information that they've been hiding or that they're actually passing down in myths that are, are legends or fairy tales 
that are actually referring to our people and the events that surrounded our people as well. And that's why I think they wanted to hide a lot of the information in like other books like Jasher and things like that, because many people would not read it. And if they did read it, they wouldn't believe it because it would seem like, you know, out of world, otherworldly events or, you know, things are happening between people, animals, trees, plants, like them talking to one another and things like that. I said, because they can't explain it. They want everything to be in neat little boxes and things that go, you know, kind of happen outside of the realm of possibility. They don't want people to listen to or to take seriously. Fairy tales are stories that are specifically for kids, involve magical characters, have good and evil characters, and generally start with once upon a time. As you do your reading, practice. Try to find out what type of story it is, and be sure to check out more of our videos by subscribing to our channel. Okay. I just wanted to kind of go out there with you guys a little bit, talk about that real quick. Because now when I say when you hear myths, oh, this was, you know, some myth or a fairy tale, you know, don't just don't just ignore it, but just listen to it and think, you know, that sounds like a lot like what, how the Most High made them keep our stories going on and on by them making it think it was theirs and passing out to them from their, to their children. And now we have the opportunity to actually take back our history. Now we understand we listen to a lot of these things, a lot of these stories. We know that it's really talking about us. All praise is to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother. Who is wisdom? Who is the Holy Spirit? Acknowledge it. Shalom.